What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Anybody Can Cook, the show where we prove to you that just because you're not a professional chef does not mean you cannot make some awesome food. My name is Evan. My name is Joe. And today we made some easy Cajun jambalaya. Yes, and we, special, special shout out to Delish for giving us this great idea. That is right, Delish put this up. Let's show you guys how we made it. Let's go. So Joe and I have just finished destroying that meal. Woo! It was amazing. You don't uh, see the sweat dropping. But. <laughs> yeah, we wiped we wiped all the sweat off. We cut all that out. Uh, Joe, what all went into making this meal? All right. So to start off, I'll, the one thing I like about this is really a one pot type deal. Uh, you, you start out with your get a good sized pot depending on. Uh, how much jambalaya you're gonna make. And make sure you cut up everything before that. <laughs> everything. Yep, yep, gotta do some prep work. Yep. Now, you get your pot out. We threw olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. um, put some chopped onions in there with the chopped bell peppers. Yep, yep. Um, added some salt and pepper. Uh, stir that around for about five minutes. Uh, stir it occasionally, I should say. And then after five minutes, once it's the, the Veggies soft. are nice and soft. Yeah. Go ahead and add your chicken and add some more salt and pepper to your liking. We also use oregano and then uh, you want to cook that for another five minutes or so until the chicken is, what is it, gold? Uh, it's, a little, it's, like, it's like a brownish color. Yeah, it's not quite gold because um, you don't want to cook it too thoroughly until you add the rest of the ingredients in. Um, up next, what we did is after that was all done, we took the sausage, we took the garlic, and we took the um, tomato paste. We go ahead and throw that into the uh, mixture as well. Cook that around for just about a minute. As soon as it started to smell the tomato paste and all that stuff like that, you just want to go ahead and dunk the rest of it in there. So we had the two cups of chicken broth. Um, we had in there as well, we had the Old Bay seasoning. Uh, we had the rice, more importantly. So when we had the chicken broth first, then we had the rice to make sure it's the right proportions. Uh, and then you literally just, if you want to add more seasoning, we actually added a couple more bits of seasoning in there as well to make it more flavorful. But then you just close it up, you, you stir it up, you close it up, and then you just let it cook and simmer for 20 minutes. We, we basically stirred it every five minutes to make sure all the stuff was equally uh, getting cooked. Um, once the 20 minutes are over, uh, now it's time for it to shine, right? You take, take the shrimp out, you detail them. If you want to detail them, we hate tails on shrimp. This is a notch, it's too much work. Stir that up for about five minutes, you throw, the, you throw the, the green onions in there as well, and then you are ready to go. It will smell amazing right off the bat, and it, it serves probably four or five people as well. All right, Joe, lastly, we have our three things we go over every single time. The first being, how does it taste? So we have a sliding scale of one to 10, one being absolutely disgusting, never ever again, 10 being, oh my God, so amazing. Joe, where would you place this fantastic meal? Well. Let me tell you, I'm still licking my lips because that <laughs> stuff is tasty. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a really solid seven. Even an eight sounds good for me. Yes. Yes. Um, jambalaya isn't something that I want every night of the week, but every time I have it, I'm super excited, and this one tasted amazing. Yes, indeed, I agree with him 100%. It is extremely filling. You are when, when you finish this kind of meal, you are completely satisfied. You are just like. Ugh, you're sweat. We were sweating. Our noses were running. It was like the perfect amount of food. 100% yep. agree with the seven or eight. So we're on to part two now. Part two is how easy it was to make. Um, one being ridiculously easy, pouring milk into cereal, stupid easy. Ten being ridiculously complex, gourmet chef style, fancy footwork, the whole plate of desire. Joe, where would you put this one to ten on how does uh, how easy it was to make? So going into it, I was a little intimidated mm -hmm. just from the ingredients list. Yes. Um, the direction just didn't look too crazy. But honestly, I, I'm gonna go right in the middle with a five. Um, once you have your prep work done and you have all your ingredients, you've gone to the store and picked out everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's really just setting it out, getting it ready to go as far as chopping it, uh, chopping the ingredients. And then everything's pretty much goes in one pot. So it's pretty simple. Exactly. They simplify it and it really wasn't too bad. 100% agree once again. Uh, it's all about the prep work that takes the longest amount of time of everything. It's the most tedious. You have to chop up everything beforehand. Once all that's done, it's literally just following the ingredient list and putting the right things in at the right time, which is super simple, right? It's all laid out for you. Put it in, five minutes, done, next step. Super simple. 100% agree, five out of 10. All right, so part three, the last part is how much did it cost? 
So off the bat, this entire meal, uh, including a couple of spices we had to buy once again, which is a little pricey, uh, brought us right around to twenty nine dollars and fifty ish cents, so right around fifteen bucks a person. Joe, where would you put this on a sliding scale of one to ten? One being dirt cheap, ten being we're gonna need to go into debt right now because we're dying. All right, so that's another one I'm gonna stick in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna stick with a five there. Okay. Um, you know, we the amount we made, I would say, could could feel the stomachs of a small family. But for us, well, I mean, we're grown men and we're hungry. <laughs> so we pretty much demolished it and paying, paying 15 bucks for a meal isn't crazy by any means. No. But it's not cheap. So not something you want to do every night of the week. Yes. But it was, it was an amazing meal and I would do it plenty of times more. Yes, exactly. If I paid 15 bucks for something that delicious, there'll be no regrets in my mind. Just with that amount of food that we got, I would have zero regrets for sure, for paying 15 bucks for that amount of food. Yep. All right, that is our show. Thank you all for watching very much. Uh, we are Anybody Can Cook. My name is Evan. My name is Joe. And we can prove to you every single time that just because it is something fancy, we can still do it. We can do it. Every time. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Later, y'all.